All right, this is video one of a multi-part series where we go all across the Tri-City, Kitchener, Waterloo, Cambridge. We find out the best Indian food for you guys. I've been a student here for four years. I'm yet to find a video that shows you guys this region properly. In today's video, we're going to be going to three of the most popular restaurants around here. We're going to start off the day with Indian Food Master, which is a beautiful restaurant located right in the middle of Waterloo, right on University Avenue, perfect for a nice breakfast stop. Then we're going to head to Dwarkesh, which is a, another beautiful Indian fine cuisine restaurant that focuses on fast food. We're going to head down there right beside the downtown Conestoga campus. We're going to end it off with Parathi Wali Gali, which is a nice, beautiful, calm, dinner spot they even got a pub beside it so we're gonna check that out so if you want to know about the best restaurants in this region if you're an international student coming here make sure you stay tuned make sure you hit the subscribe button because it's going crazy from here we're gonna be doing a multi-part series this is just video one imagine all the other restaurants we go to within this whole series and i'll give my genuine opinion across all of them we ain't messing around let's get started First restaurant we've come to is Indian Sweet Master. This is personally one of my favorites. I come here pretty much every weekend. I'm gonna show you guys inside the decor. It's a brand new restaurant in Waterloo, right beside University of Waterloo. So yeah, let's go in. All right, and in today's video, we're joined by my brothers, Dave, Zeal. It's gonna be a fun time out, so let's get started. All right, we're inside the restaurant right now. As you can see, we've got quite a few variety of sweets all along. Everything you could ever require, super fresh. Look at the decor as well. You can tell that this is a brand new lo location. Everything's well put together. You got all your famous Indian drinks right there. Might have to try some of those out. Right, I'm gonna put their full menu in the description, but let's see some of the stuff they got here. Look at this, you got your whole lunch menu from all your curries, you got your rice, you got your sweets, dal. You got your whole chat corner here. They're still getting prepared for that. I'll, as you can see, they got quite a big menu right there. But I'm gonna put a proper photo of that in the bio. Let's get started with the food. No. Alright, check this out. They brought out their beautiful sali right here. You got your raita, shahi paneer, curry pakora, chana masala. You got a big variety of rice, salads, sweets. You also got your garlic naan right here. All for $12.99, which is absolutely insane for price here. Alright, so the first thing we ordered is chana batura. This is probably one of their best sellers. We also got three other curries that they gave us. We have our main chana right here. But we also got their shahi paneer and goat masala because these guys eat non -witch, so they're gonna be trying out that they're gonna be giving you the reviews for that let's dive in wait 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 dave what are you trying out today trying this butter chicken okay. and uh the mutton masala okay let's do a taste test yeah. Prisoner. Yeah? But hey. Okay. Which one do you like the most? Let's see. I would say the mutton masala. I would say it's the most better one, like authentic, which yeah. I have ever had yeah. here in Canada. Okay. The mutton masala. And how is the batura? Like it? Very good. Yeah. It's fluffy. Perfect, perfect. Yeah. Alright, Zeal, your turn now. Yeah. What are you trying out? I'm having the butter chicken. Okay, let's do it. It tastes really good. It tastes like authentic, like Indian food. Yep. One of the better restaurants I've had here. Yeah. Canada, yeah. So I, I think sick. recommend. That's sick. All right. Tried out the shahi paneer. Super, super nice. We're gonna try out chana masala now. Let's try it out. This is actually their specialty, so should be good. Let's see. I'm generally not a big chana masala fan. I like paneer more, but we're gonna try this out regardless. This is probably the best, by far the best chana masala I've ever had in Canada, honestly. I'm gonna get these guys to try it out as well, but this is super nice. 100% recommend, 100%. So, Alright, these guys' turn to try chana masala. Dave, you go first. Let's do it. Get a big bite. There we go. What do you think? <laughs> So it's good. Yeah. Super. 
Secondly, I would say like I would have gone more in. I have had to had gone to more Indian restaurants in London. I would say it's one of the best. Yeah, definitely try now. Yeah, Zia, what do you think? Right. Let's see. To get deep analysis. Deep analysis. <laughs> I think they cooked it really well. Okay, yeah, that's what I feel as well. Yeah. So you, when you put the dye in your mouth, it yeah. just melts. That's really what I'm saying. Quality, that's what I'm saying. Really good cooking. Yeah. I think it's definitely one of them. We should try it out here. Perfect. All right. All right. We just got the samosas right here. You got both your chutneys right here. These are actually my favorite, favorite samosas in this whole region or even in Toronto. I'd say they're amazing. Freshly made. As you can see, proper, nice and crispy as well. We also got some extra batutas to finish up our curries with. So yeah, let's dive in. Zio, your turn to try the samosa. Let's do it. You notice the first thing? As soon as you peel it off, flakes just peel right off. Yeah. It's super crust. The crust is super well cooked. First time. What's on your Tari? Emily? Emily. Yeah. Super rich. Yeah. The flavor is really good. Yeah. Yeah. Try with the other chutney as well. We want to see that. It's looking really good because you know yeah. it brings like a super sour flavor. Yeah. Spicy at the back taste. Yeah. It's really good. Right Perfect. Right. What are we making today, chaat papri? Let's do it. Yo, your chaat foodies first. They look beautiful. And how much are these chats? Uh, 720. 720. 720 each. And I'm pretty sure by the size of it, easily two or three people can eat it. If, if you got appetite like me, if you can eat more, this is all for you. There you go. This is alu. Alu, okay, okay. Alu masala. Yeah, perfect. You got your chickpeas next. And as you can see, everything is freshly made every single morning. Super fresh, super clean. Got your onion going in. Give it a bit of texture. Next, we got their in house masala that goes on their chut. And which chutney is this? Imli. Imli goes first. Give it that sour taste. Next up, we got our green chutney. Give it a nice bit of contrast, fresh taste. Last, we got our day. Sweet curd. Sweet curd. There you go. So you get a taste of everything. You got your sour, you got your savory, you got your sweet. Beautiful. Just to top it off, a bit more of sour. Look at that. Does that not make you want to come here? Look at that. But yeah, all in all, these guys have been absolutely amazing in their whole hospitality. If you're within the whole university area, let's say if you're University of Waterloo, which is literally like two minutes away from here, and Laurier, which is like 10 minutes away from here, you gotta come here during lunch. It's super, super nice. Everything's freshly made. Look at this. Look at the variety they got. Veg, non-veg, anything you would ever require. Everything at one place. All right, officially done with the first restaurant, Indian Sweet Master. Really, really great hospitality, amazing food. We're heading out to the second restaurant right now, which is Dwar Kesh in Kitchener. So let's go. All right, this is our second restaurant of the day, Dwar Kesh Indian Cuisine. It's pretty much a fast food joint. Look at that, you got Conestoga College, literally two minutes away. You could literally walk from your class, come here, have some food. Let's go inside. All right, check this out. They got their amazing chart corner style area. And once you come inside, you got this abundant seating. You could have all your friends out here, literally two minutes away from the campus. So between classes, after classes, late night, you could always come out here. Alright, this is their menu. I'm gonna put it up proper as a photo on the screen right here. But let's look at it right now. You got Vara Pao Puff, Samosas, Pani Puri, Sandwich, Dabili. Everything you can have super quick and the prices are amazing as well. Ideal for college students. Check this out. You got your other section where you got your masala chai, spring rolls, peri peri fries, pizza. All sorts of stuff. I'm gonna put a proper photo on the uh, video right now. You can pause the video, check it out. Alright, we got the boys right here. Dave, you've been to this restaurant before. What did you order last time? So I, I was here two days back and okay. I ordered some two kind of puffs. One of those were butter puff, another one was a garlic puff. Okay. Then I also tried the Marapao and Dabili. Yeah. Um, what was your favorite? 
I believe I like the garlic pop a lot. Okay. And a little bit more about the ravioli. Okay. Not a proper vada pav fan, but I like the vada pav too a bit. Sounds good. Like a lot of flavors, which is connected to India. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, have you been here before? I have not been here, but some of the food looks really good. Yeah. And one of the things I'm really most excited about. Veggie burger right here. Yep. This looks. It really looks good. beautiful. Yeah. Look at the that. Sauce is coming out. Yeah. Yeah. It looks it like looks really yeah. Good. We gotta eat that. It's warm to crisp. Yep. Can't wait to eat that. All right. We'll let Zeal do the honors first. We're gonna try out the veggie burger. Take a look at that. Look at that. That's insane. All right. Let's do it. Right, first bite. What do we think? It's really good. It's yep. really warm. Yep. Crispy. Everything's crispy. perfect. It's sauces. Really, really crispy. So much sauces. Yep. It's an explosion of flavor in your mouth. That's crazy. I recommend. Dave. Yeah. Your turn. What are you trying? Um, confused. It's everything flavory here. Yeah, it is beautiful. Pani puri. Then. Pani puri. Six flavors. Then what flavor are you trying? This one, random. Okay. okay. Let's see. And by the way, as I mentioned earlier, you could even have pani puri at the live station. Since we're having all this food together, we're just gonna have it here. Let's do it. What flavor was that? <laughs> That's the thing with pani puri. You always have to, you know, eat it in one go and it always fills up your mouth. Uh, I guess it was like a something with tamarind. Okay. Uh, it was really sweet and tangy. Yeah. I really like that. Uh, I don't know, but I'm happy to try other pani puri. Yeah, yeah, we gotta try it. Not everything's your favorite, so let's do it. Yeah. What else are you gonna try next? Let's go with this weird looking one. Orange juice? <laughs> I don't know if it is a fanta or not. <laughs> It looks sweet. Let's see. No? <laughs> it's full of garlic. Oh, wow. So That's it. it. Did you like it though or no? Yeah. Yeah? You like that? Yeah, I like garlic so. Like Alright, now it's my turn. I gotta try out something from here. Finally my turn. I don't know what I'm gonna try first. But I feel like pound bhaji. It looks nice. Got a nice bun. Nice butter on it. Let's try it out. A big dip. This is crazy. The thing I'm telling you about the taste these guys have in their restaurant is pretty similar to what you'd have in India. And the prices are good. It's not like, you know, some processed food or something else. I'm not even eating it properly, but it's actually amazing. Let's see what we're, we're gonna try Vara Pao next. He did mention it is a bit spicy, as you can see. Look at that. But yeah, regardless, let's try it up. That's the thing with Indian food. You always are gonna get your hands dirty. But I feel like that's when you eat the best food. In regards to what happened, let's taste it. The chutney inside is super nice. Vara in itself is very crispy. Bread's nice. All in all, that whole package goes super well together. We're gonna try out Alu Tiki Chai. Opened up pretty well, I'd say. You to try out a small piece to get all the flavors in. Instantly, as soon as you bite, you get that crispy outside, soft inside, flavors everywhere. You have that nice texture of potatoes, but you also get some crispiness from the same, the sauces or the chutneys as they call them in India, make them nice and flavorful. Amazing food regardless. I'd say it's hard, it's honestly hard to pick a favorite from here. Once we're all done, we're going to give a verdict as to what my favorite stuff is. I'm going to ask Dave, we're going to ask Steve. Yeah, until then, let's do a time lapse. All right, it's been about 20 minutes in. What do you guys think of the food? Almost, Almost full. This food is really cheap and it fills you up. That's, that's what I'm saying, right? I wish we had something like this outside like Glory or something we could go out, you know? Everything in our University Avenue is like hyper expensive. Specifically for someone who is like a proper veg food eater. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You got potatoes here, you got potatoes and veggies here. You got- Your puff. puff. He, literally all the Indian street food, that's vegetarian. You have it here. There's nothing that I could think of that's apart from like very niche stuff. You got pretty much anything you could ever want right here. What do you say, Zio? They give a price. It's, it's worth it. They give you a lot of money. Right? Yeah, yeah. So if you're hungry after class, tired day, bro, come right here. You got enough seating. Get your friends together. You literally place any chairs you want. They're very helpful as well. The staff is amazing. And yeah, come out here. Have your food. Go back home. You don't even need to cook anymore. You could just have food here every single day. We got a mystery flavor, Zio. You ready? Pani right puri. You got the flavor right here. Red flavor right here. Let's do it. Right out. Dave knows what it is. He's not saying. He just won't tell me what it is. So I'm trying to figure it out. <laughs> Either he loves it or he hates it. So let's do it. <laughs> what flavor is that? It's sweet. I don't like it. Okay. <laughs> so they, that, that's why they give you a variety. And let's say if you even ask them, they're going to give you any flavor you like. You don't have to pick 
Like we, we got five random flavors to try out, but they, they got a whole variety. If you want anything like, you know, coriander, mint, whatever you want, they'll give it to you. <laughs> that. Butter. Which one is this? Garlic. Okay. Okay. Nice. All right, you gotta do one more. Let's. Go. What was your favorite flavors in Pani Puri? Leave the ones you don't like. What did you like? You like the garlic one, right? The that garlic one. one was pretty good. And yeah. the spicy one. Um, yeah, the regular, the regular, regular, regular spicy. Yeah, yeah. So next time when you guys are coming, or anyone's coming to this restaurant, you just order what you like. You don't have to force. Because like some people like it sweet, some people like different flavors. That's why they got five different flavors. But the owner has just brought out three teas for us. He claims it to be the best chai in Canada. We gotta put that to the test because I drink a lot of tea. You guys drink a lot of tea. Okay, Zila, I know you don't drink tea, but you're gonna try it for the first time. I have tea, just not as regularly as you guys. Okay, but they claim it's the best. That's a bold claim. In Canada, that's a bold claim. But well, there we go. We got our chai. Let's do chai cheers. We gotta drink it. Hold up. That's actually nice. It tastes like Indian chai, bro. It's actually fire. It, it have a little bit of ginger flavor that yeah. will be hitting you in the back. Yeah. And at the beginning, you have a little bit of um, cardamom flavor. Yeah. What do you think, Zim? You, the, the ginger back taste is really good. I knew the crazy part is... Oh, my bad, my bad, my bad. This is handmade chai. And like majority of the stores in Canada or restaurants in Canada have chai that is, you know, made by machine, stuff like that. You don't want that. But this handmade chai, you're not going to get anywhere else. Let's see if you're doing a late night study session. Just come by here, have a quick chai, head out. All right, we're just finished with the food. Amazing, guys. Amazing yes. hospitality. No, Thank you again to the owners of Door Kitchen, Indian Cuisine. Always come by. It's right next to Conestoga College. If you want any food, super nice, by the super nice hospitality. That's the main thing. Anything you need, they're going to provide it to you. We're even going to take some food home because we couldn't finish everything. But yeah, make sure to check it out. All right, we have finally arrived at Parathe Wali Gali. As you can see, massive interior. Lots of seating around for people. We're going to try out some of their favorite dishes, most popular stuff. Show you guys around. Let's go. Also, in, if you're wondering why we're shooting inside, it's raining outside. You never know the weather in Kitchener Waterloo. It's winter though, so I can't blame it. But look at this, they got a whole bar inside. If you're interested in drinks or anything like that, events, there's always a bar inside and it's directly connected to the Paratewali Gali restaurant. This bar is called Three Idiots. They're both connected. I'll put a link in the bio to the exact map of this location. Now let's not waste some time. I'm going to show you some B-roll and let's get the food. Finally got the food, check this out. Check out the whole table. Beautiful collection of food. Got our garlic naan, paneer pasanda. This is a nice curry that they gave us. Got the classic alu paratha. That's our veg option. We got a chicken and egg omelette, I believe. That's if I'm right. We got our beautiful, look at this, look at this. Go closer, go closer. Now go far. <laughs> this is a pizza omelette. It's not pizza omelette, this is a pizza paratha. Like it, look at this. Beautiful collection of food. We also got a variety of drinks. I'm going to let Dave do the names because I always forget names. Let's do it. Yeah, for the drinks, we got Long Island iced tea here. We got a Virgin Caesar and this is Watermelon Mojito. Finally, time to dive in. This is the best part of the video. Get to roll these up. Yeah, let's try it out. Alu paratha first. Look at this. Nice flaky outside, soft on the inside. You got some spices that they have. Let's try with the curd first. That's super, super nice. i take another taste test for you guys. Hold up. A bigger bite this time. Confirmed. Easy 10 out of 10 paratha. I'd come back 100%. Right, up next, paneer pasanda. We'll get our garlic naan. And look how nicely it tears out. Very generous with the butter. We got nice, uh, I think it's coriander on the top. Roll it up. What a beautiful, look at that. Paneer pasanda. Let's mix up some gravy. Look at that. Look at that. Take a bite for you guys first. Done. My turn now. This is actually my second paneer curry in the day. Both super unique in their own ways because the naan, that was with the batura, this is with the naan. Both tastes absolutely amazing. I'd definitely try this if I'm coming next. This is one of my favorite, paneer is one of my favorite, you know, curries in general. Beautiful. All right, guys, what I have right here is the pizza paratha. It comes with garlic dip and tomato sauce. So let's dive right in. You can see just the cheese coming out already. So, so, look at that. Here, let's do a cheese pull. 
There you go. Look at that. All right. First bite. Try with the garlic first. Tastes really good. So much sauce in here. You can't tell, but when you put it in your mouth, it's super rich, super flavorful. Here, let's try one more white with the pizza sauce. Pizza sauce. One more. One more. Wow. There we go. Into tomato sauce. Definitely would prefer the garlic a lot more, but still really good with the tomato sauce. I have a chicken tikka omelet here. Let's try it out. We got curd, but I'm not going to taste curd because I never had curd in my life, like a raw curd. Then I have a salad here. Let's try it out how we have this uh, omelet first. Initially, I thought it's an uh, omelet and they have chicken stuffed inside. Now, when, as soon as I ate it, I felt some kind of like, you no know, roti or bread inside. Now, here we can see it. It's a paratha and there is an omelet on the top. It's a chicken oh, wow. tikka paratha with omelet on the top. Talk about flavors, fluffy omelet on the top. And we go to dip when we talk about paratha. Paratha is, you know, it's it's really like you, you taste like a tikka, a chicken tikka and a paratha. You so like it's it? really amazing. Yeah, I'm going to try the long and icy and let's see how it goes. It's perfectly as I expect. Perfectly as I expect. From a long and iced tea, it's perfectly as you want. Now, let's, let me try watermelon mojito. All right. It has a little bit of flavor of mint in it because it's on the top. Base flavor watermelon as we expected, and I guess it's good. It's best. What are you tasting? Okay, so what I have is the virgin Caesar. You can see they're on the toppings. You put the dojiro powder on, and the see it all around the rim. Done. Okay. Now your favorite? Not the best. I feel like I'll, this is a lot better. Okay. Um. Yeah, so if it, if it, if my opinion, this is a lot better. This is a lot more sour. What is this? This is the watermelon mojito. Okay. You want to do a taste test? This tastes a lot better. Yeah. Good mixture. I think it's one of my favorite ones. Yeah, sounds good. Done. I've already eaten half the alu paratha. I'm going to finish it up, obviously. I'm going to eat some more paneer as well. However, the one I'm really excited about that I never have had before, the pizza paratha. But I don't want to try the whole thing before. So let me get rid of this garlic sauce. Let's get a nice cut. There we go. Nice bite size. What can I see inside? I see some wedgies, cheese. Let's give it a taste test. You know what? It's a weird experience having something within this paratha shape and it turns out to be a bit sweeter in the, on the side. I, don't I, I wouldn't say it's spicy or sweet i'd say it's somewhere between the whole savory sweet rum really good regardless paratha is very nice the ingredients within this are super nice it's just that i've never had anything with this taste i'm more of a traditional you know alu paratha you got your naan paneer that's that works for me generally nice too all right but if you want any authentic paratas you want to have a good night out you want to have some drinks all types of mojitos all sort of cocktails stuff like that they even got a, i gotta mention this they got, even got a whole event area so if, if you want to host a birthday or any event make sure you come out here check them out i'm gonna put their instagram and all the details in the bio make sure to check them out yeah see you in the next one there you have it end of the video let me know what restaurant you like the most also comment down below what restaurants do you want me to visit next to show you guys what food they have. What cities do you want me to visit? What to improve in this video? Any questions, any concerns, let me know. Make sure to also check out the link in bio. We got all the information about the restaurants we've been to today. Honest suggestions, we got all their emails, their Instagram handles, literally everything you'd need to go there. I've also included their locations, making it easy for you guys. It would be much easier if you subscribe to me so you can see all this on a daily basis but that's up to you if you like the video make sure to drop a like and as always i'll see you in the next one